Hello, and welcome to another session of Do Life. I am pumped up, excited, and ready to go. And I hope you are ready too, because today is going to be an outstanding, amazing time of sharing. So family, friend out there, I just want you to share and also tell your friends. It's not too late. Tell them to join in because we are about to talk about a very important and I believe timely subject, which has to do with achieving personal goals, how to achieve personal goals. So call your friends, get on the phone, and just call one or two persons, or just, just forward uh, the link to them and let them join us because we want to address this critical matter, achieving personal goals. You know, um, in our uh, previous session, I dealt with hope. And I talked about the importance of hope in spite of all that is happening around us in the world. People need hope to survive. Government needs hope. Families need hope. Communities need hope. Parents need hope. Children need hope. We all need hope to live. And I mentioned a scripture which says, hope deferred makes the heart sick. And I also emphasize the importance of hoping in the Lord. We need to hope in God. You need to have an anchor. You have to stay connected to someone. And I believe the best person you can connect your life or wrap your life around is the Lord. You need God. You need Jesus. And you need the Holy Spirit to keep you going. And that is where hope comes alive. But now I want to deal and talk about achieving personal goals. When you, are, you have hope, then you can set goals. People without hope don't set any goals. People without hope just, just quit living. They may be physically here, but mentally absent, emotionally absent. They have no sense of joy, and they have no sense of the future. They believe the world has left them behind and that they are actually way back and that there's no reason to exist. But I say to you, keep your hope alive so that with that hope, you'll be able to set goals for your future. We all need to have individual goals. At least have a vision for your life or have a dream for your life. I like vision and dreams very much because even though they look the same or it sounds like the same, they are different in many ways. Vision is different from a dream. Okay, vision is different from a dream. I like to have both. Vision is to see the future. Dream is something that comes to you or something that at least may even give you a glimpse of the future, but something that comes in your subconscious mind. Vision is what comes in your spirit, what you see ahead. And we all have to have vision for our lives or also have what I call uh, um, dreams. Having a vision or setting a vision for yourself will help you to always wake up, the, wake up in the morning knowing that you have something to fulfill. Dreams comes in different shapes and different forms. They can come through thoughts. They can come through things that you like to do. They can come through things you've seen that got your attention, gets your attention that you are trying to uh, uh, drive uh, 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 towards or something that you feel, this is what I want to achieve. But a vision, on the other hand, is something that you see. You see not only with your natural eyes, but you see with the eye of your spirit. Your mind is convinced and it's way ahead and you believe that it can be achieved through your dedication, commitment, and also your efforts. When you have dreams or you have aspiration, you can now begin to set your life in blocks. In other words, they become like bricks that you put together, one after the other. You are setting a future. We have to keep dreaming. Some of you had experiences that made you felt, or that it still makes you feel your dream is dead. We have to keep dreaming. You may have some unexpected 
challenges, some hits, some oppositions, and those who may even doubt your dreams or doubt your vision, but that is not for you to say because people don't believe in it or doubt it, you'll give up. Listen, you have to hold on to your dreams and you also have to hold on to your vision because they are building blocks for your future. If you dream or when you have a vision, often you may know or feel that the vision is so far out there and that's what it's meant to be. Vision is very far out there but it has a timing to it. The Bible tells us that make the vision plain, set the vision up. It may tarry, but even wait for it. Even though it tarries, wait for it. The vision is for an appointed time. And a dream also at times will come upon you. Or you may have these thoughts, these feelings. And you say, this is what I want to achieve. This is what I want to achieve. And you may get excited about it. And others may even discourage you and say to you, you cannot do it. You cannot do it. Put it aside. But I'm saying to you, don't listen to your naysayers. Don't listen to those who will convince you or make you feel like your dream is so far-fetched and your vision is out of this world and there's no way it can happen. Listen, it takes visionaries to make things real and it takes dreamers to have interpretation to their desires. Don't let your vision die, and don't let your dream also die. If you have not actually thought of vision and dreams yet, I want to take this moment to actually inspire you and say to you, set up a vision for yourself, and also start dreaming. Is there anything that from time to time impresses you or positively makes you feel like, hey, this is something I would like to achieve in my lifetime. Is there something that you have seen or a message you have heard or an experience you've had that you had this epiphany, something just happened to you and you felt like, hey, I can achieve this or I can do this. It is a dream or a vision. If you feel like it, please, all you can do is actually think on it, meditate upon it, and also find a way to make it a reality. And how do you make it a reality? You have to just accept what you are sensing, what you are feeling, and stay connected to it or attached to it. And take a claim or make a claim that what I'm sensing and what I'm feeling, I wouldn't let it go the other direction. I'll embrace it and I'll set my life around it and see what God can do as I cooperate with God and allow this vision or this dream that I feel in my heart come to pass. Listen, you can set up your heart, your mind to stay connected to this vision or these ideas that you have, this urging that you have. You may have an idea and the idea that you had is an idea that keeps coming. You can't shake it off. No matter what you do, it keeps coming to you. It keeps coming to you. Somehow you try to bury it, walk away from it, but it keeps calling you. That it means that this vision or this dream that is reoccurring is inviting you to take action. And you can actually make plans around it. And I'll give you an example. If a thought comes to me and a thought is positive, not negative, a thought that would literally provoke joy in me, but also that would bring peace to me, blessing to me, and also bless others, I consider it a positive thing. Because anything that is good for me and is good for people, I believe is God who's invested, put that in my spirit. God will not put something in your heart that will harm you. And if you have a heart that is pure and right, you will not want to give anything out to people that will harm them. So if there's a thought or an idea that comes to you, and that idea keeps you motivated, keeps you excited, and keeps you want to do something to make a difference, but yet it will bring you fulfillment and also change people's lives, 
at least one person's life or people's life, it is a vision or idea that God has put there. You don't have to let it go. Hold on to it. Pray about it. Ask God to make it plain and ask God to continue to provoke in you the excitement and lead you towards that vision. Once you feel that in your spirit, remember, your age is no longer a factor. Whether you have experience or not is not a factor. Whether you have means or resources is not a factor. What is, more, is important is what you are sensing in your heart, what you are sensing in your spirit, what you are feeling in your gut, your belly, that you can't shake. It keeps waking you. It keeps provoking you. It keeps telling you. I mean, you sleep, you wake up with that thought. You walk, it's in your mind. Anything and everything you do, this thing keeps reoccurring. It means God has put this thing in your spirit and is trying to get your attention and asking you to pray over it. Pray over it. Pray over it and marinate it. Marinate. Get it complete in your spirit and make plans how to get this out or how to make this a reality. Now, God may from time to time send you people who will give you different messages or will confirm to you that what you are sensing and feeling is not out there, it's not crazy, and that you've not lost your mind, and that is God. People may come in with confirmation. People will say things to you, or you may turn on radio or television, or people, I mean, you see many signs that point to you. It's like, man, this thing keeps coming to me. This thought keeps coming to me. This experience keeps coming to me. And it leads you towards the very thing that you sense in your spirit. Is God trying to confirm through different means to let you know that it is he that has put this in your heart. Now, there are times too, you may sense this, and others may come directly and say to you, or say something negative to that effect, but yet you sense this peace in your spirit, that this is something that I feel I, have be, I was born to do, I was called to do. I'm going to pursue it, but I'm going to ask God, I'm going to pray over it and ask God for wisdom, and ask God also to confirm it to me and also make sure that God will send me the people who, a person or people who may come and help me get this vision or this dream out into the open, into reality. No matter what is happening, as I've said earlier, when you have vision, you have dreams, is the hope that you have that will bring this about. I hope what I'm sensing in my spirit is of God. I hope what I'm feeling in my spirit is of God. And I know this is God who's put this verdict in my heart. Because the more I pray about it, the more peace I get. The more I pray about it, the more new ideas come. When you have this aspiration and you set this personal goal for yourself, this is what I want to do. This is what I believe God is calling me to do. I'm setting my mind to it. I'm going to pursue it. God, guide me and direct my path. God will do so. Listen, when you don't have plans for life, you waste your time in life. But when you have plans and you have goals set, then you not only waste time, you not waste time, but you will live to fulfill something that is so deep inside you. You have to set goals and you have to believe that if you have a vision or you have this dream in your heart to do something that is bigger than you, don't be concerned about resource to start with. Just allow the vision to get bigger and pray that God will send you vision helpers or God will send you those who come and undergird you or support you. Because, you see, vision, once it's completely a dream, once it's fully realized, God will set resources and support to back you up. There are those who are always chasing for resources before they start a vision. It doesn't work that way. Once you have a vision, you have a dream, and you're praying about it and it's enlarging, there are those who have the pieces to add to your vision or to add to your dream and make it a reality. Don't try to look for resources before you start dreaming or before you start having vision. 
You have to have a vision or you have to have a dream and you have to set goals for it. Now, Lord, this is what I'm trying to do within this period. In the next two years, I'll spend my time to get as much information that I need. I'll spend much time to learn about this vision. I'll do research and I'll talk to people or I'll find out from those who have wisdom or those who've been this path before. I'll ask questions and see and learn so that when I start it, I'm starting from a place of knowledge and also proper information and also with wisdom. So if you do those things and you set these goals ahead and you keep hoping, I'll tell you this, God will send you helpers. There are what we call destiny helpers just as there are dream helpers. There are some people God will send specifically to you to help bring your dream or your vision to fruition. So keep dreaming, have vision, but set goals. Set clear goals. You cannot live in a vacuum and hope that a vision will come to pass. No, set goals. Set goals. Plan. 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 And plan. Set goals. And how do you set goals? By what? Planning. Planning. And planning. And planning. And planning. Because if you plan, with this, you plan this goal, you succeed. But, but if you plan not, then you plan to fail. It is good for you to hope. It is good for you to have this vision or this dream. It is good for you to know that what is before you can be achieved. There is nothing too hard for God. Because once you find out that this is what gives you happiness, satisfaction, and you pull towards it, God would give you some of the things that you didn't even uh, think were possible. God will bring people your path. And God will literally open new doors and opportunities that will help your vision and your dream to come alive. I hope I'm speaking to you. And I hope you are getting something out of this. You have to know that any dream that you have, no matter how big it is, there's always a resource that God, can supply, God will supply to fulfill it. But instead of chasing the uh, supply, chase the vision. Run after it. And God will send people to run behind you and together this vision will be fulfilled. Keep dreaming. No matter what is happening around you in the world, keep dreaming. No matter how many times you've failed in life, keep dreaming. No matter how old you think you are, keep dreaming. In fact, some of you, your best dream days start when you retire. Because now you can focus on one thing. Some of you have to lose your job to make your dreams and your vision a reality. Some of you have to hit rock bottom and be real broke to have your dream and vision come alive. And some of you have to be rejected and abandoned by vision and dream disturbers for you to be isolated and have your dream come alive. There is nothing there's nothing too hard for God. Always remember that. And know this, that if you dream it and God blessings upon it, there's no way it will fail. You shall succeed. And you will succeed at all costs because God never breaks his promise. And those who trust in him shall not be put to shame. So keep dreaming. Set up goals. Follow the goals. Work towards the goals and know that it will succeed. I hope this little sharing has helped. And I hope you've learned something out of it. But I'll say to you, listen to it again the second and third time. And whilst you're doing so, share this with your loved ones. And just, just let them hear this message because it's for you. I thank God for your life and I say to you, Keep dreaming. Keep having visions and dreams. Don't think your vision or your dream is too big that it cannot come to pass. Trust God and God will fulfill your heart's desire. I love you and I encourage you to keep sharing and also keep doing life with us. The giving structures are there. Come along 
and support. God bless you. Hey, Life International family. Thanks for watching another Do Life session powered by King Adamte. We hope that you are blessed by today's discussion and have learned some key principles that you can apply to your everyday life. Join us next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our next Do Life session. You can join us by visiting our YouTube channel, where Life International RTP. And if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a session. If you're in the Research Triangle Park or the surrounding area, we would love for you to join us on Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for our worship service. We're located at 5310 South Austin Avenue, Durham, North Carolina, 27713. If you're not able to join us in person, don't worry. You can join us via live stream by visiting lifeinternational.us slash do life TV. If you were blessed by today's message, we encourage you to give. Your giving is how we can continue to bring you messages like this on a weekly basis. You can give via text using your mobile device by texting your donation amount to 84321. You can also give online by visiting us at lifeinternational.us slash give. Or you can give by scanning the QR code with your mobile device's camera. Thank you for supporting our ministry through giving. We look forward to doing life with you. Have a blessed week. We'll see you next time. Bye.